David Schaub, direttore dell'animazione alla Sony Pictures Imageworks, ha lavorato nel campo dell'animazione e degli effetti visivi per più di 15 anni. Recentemente è stato supervisore all'animazione per Alice in Wonderland della Disney, dove ha lavorato insieme a Tim Burton per creare tutte le animazioni delle creature del mondo sotterraneo. I think every character on Alice in Wonderland had its moment because we started off with something we thought would be a favorite, it became our favorite for a while, but then some other character came along. We always thought the Cheshire Cat, for example, was a great, how could you not love the Cheshire Cat? And we do, we love the Cheshire Cat. But then the frogs, which were secondary characters that we never thought were even going to be featured, ended up being very much a favorite in the film. Tim is just such a great visionary. He's just got a great sense of storytelling and just a great artistic sense. And he really works well. He respects his actors and, and artists in a, in, a, in a huge way. And I think that really does bring out the best of everybody involved. Um, yeah, I think once you earn his trust, you know, he's very collaborative in that respect. So I think on this show is probably one of the most creatively fulfilling shows I've ever been a part of because of the way he actually works with the artists. The biggest problem, the biggest challenge on this show beyond everything else was the, was the schedule that we had to deliver this. Um, it really started off being, uh, well, we thought we were going to do 800 shots and it turned out to be something like 1,700 that we delivered in the end. And it was really only a nine month schedule. We had to deliver from the, the moment we started animation all the way through to when we finished. It was nine months, which is absolutely no time. And again, it's really because of the way Tim Burton works. And um, because he's so collaborative and he's so able to keep, keep the show moving forward, uh, despite all the difficulties the show faces, surprisingly, one of the most difficult characters, and I, I don't even think it's a character many people think of as an animated character, is Stain, the, the tall, the, uh, the head of the Red Queen's army. The, the character played by Crispin Glover, because it's Crispin Glover's head that's put on a, onto an animated body. Stands at seven and a half feet tall and very skinny. Um, getting that working um, was a huge challenge. And I, again, I don't think anybody really realizes that, that his body was animated all the way through this thing. Um, another challenging character was the Cheshire Cat, figuring out the Cheshire Cat, uh, how, he, how he emotes and how he moves. All, you know, uh, gosh, Absalom the Caterpillar had its own set of challenges. But I think, I think by far the, uh, yeah, as far as the, the, the stylized characters, I think the Cheshire Cat was probably the, the trickiest and most complicated.